hello hello welcome back welcome to the channel if you're new to the channel i am steve chapman of fishing florida radio and today we are at eliminate an elimination day on stage one here in kissimmee florida for major league fishing bass pro tour we're gonna see who's in and who's the out of the top 10 so we're heading there and uh, we're gonna do some interviews and talk to some people and have a good time. So we'll see you soon. Today's video is brought to you by Daiichi Hooks. From hooks for plastic, saltwater and circle hooks, treble hooks, trailer hooks, sabikis, catfish hooks, and more, Daiichi Hooks are the world's sharpest. If you want a hook and catch more fish, look no further than Daiichi. Hooks that you can trust. Daiichi Hooks. Andy Howell. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, man. It was a great feeling to know I'm fishing on the final day of the first uh, first ever Bass Pro Tour event, especially the way my morning started out. I didn't catch a fish the first period, and uh, we regrouped and kept moving around and found some new fish, a new school of fish, and uh, had a great second, third period, and we just kind of chipped away at them. And, Got all the way back to fourth where we started the morning at. Yeah. So what a what a blessing. You know, the Lord really blessed me today to just allow it all work out to get on this fish late and uh, pull it out. And now 10 of us are back to zero tomorrow, yep. fishing for $100,000. And that's what it's all about. That's the amazing thing of the Bass Pro Tour. So it's so exciting. Going to Lake Garcia, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> uh, I know it's a big fish like what everybody says. So I'm excited about going somewhere. And hopefully I don't have to throw a jerk bait tomorrow. I'm tired of jerking that jerk bait. I'm ready to fish something big and heavy in the grass and maybe catch a big fish because that's what what I haven't done all week. So I'm looking forward to it. How hard was the decision to make this switch? This was this was this is the biggest thing that's ever happened in the industry in years. But how hard was it for you? Oh man, it it, it was honestly wasn't real hard. I I'm good friends with Boyd Duckett. Me and Boyd have been uh, I'd known about it. You know, as it was coming along, yeah. I knew knew it was going to happen, and I you know I had to be respectful of where I came from and where I, you know, in, in the Bass Tour and all and had some good years there, but uh, trying to go to a whole new level and do something we've never done before and be a part of a big group of anglers that all work together to, to do something special is just what it's all about. I'm thankful we get to do yeah. it. Yeah, this is, this is, this has been unbelievable. What are your thoughts on, on this first stage? I mean, you're act, you're having, being in fourth and moving on, but what did you, what do you think of our fishery here? Yeah. Toho, Man, Kissimmee. I, I love Toho. I've, I've done well here. I've never won here, but I've made you know quite a few checks here over the years and had good good success here. And uh, it was disappointing that the weather affected us and kind of messed the lake up from it being really good, like big fish. Wide. Yeah. But we did. As the warm weather happened yesterday and today, we noticed today there was what three or four big nine pound fish or better caught today that and they hadn't shown up all week so you see now they're just starting to show up if we could start the tournament today and go through the week the rest of the weekend later i think it would be even better but uh but it's like even when the big ones aren't biting it puts out a lot of numbers and yeah. in this deal here i knew that's what i had to fish for was the numbers and so i chased after the you know the offshore fish and the schooling type fish to to get the uh, cuts made so i can make it to that final round and uh, that's one thing, even when it's cold front, bad conditions, you can still catch fish on Toho without, you know, being tight lipped like a lot of Florida lakes get. So I like Toho a lot. How hard was the decision to come over? Um, you know, life is 
full of changes and uh, I switched from FLW years ago and joined the Elite Series and I saw this opportunity. I've been a Major League Fishing Angler now for seven years. Um, and when they announced the new tour, it was a fairly easy decision for me to make. Uh, the no entry fee and, and just the way they, they've done things um, have been more than fair and have treated us all very respectfully. Have you ever seen more excitement during an off season than this past one? I don't know if I would call it excitement as much as uh, chaos, trying to get everything <laughs> ready, trying to make sure that everything was set in place for this first event. Um, with rules, with all new formats, with penalties, and all new 80 anglers that a lot of them weren't used to Major League Fishing style. So uh, I, I think it was wonderful for the sport and to actually live this week through the first Bass BA, uh, the first MLF Bass Pro Tour was not only phenomenal, it was very stressful for me. I was the bubble boy every day, even today I was in and out, in and out. Um, but uh, all in all, what a what a phenomenal event it's been this week. How how much how less stressful is it on you without tournament entry fees? Well, you know our entry fees were running about fifty thousand dollars. So I mean, you're you're four thousand a month every every month just in entry fees is the way it adds up. And uh, you know to have that burden off is a wonderful thing. And then to go out and and perform is another thing. You don't want to just because you don't have entry fees, you don't want to. Oh well, we we save fifty thousand. You still want to compete every day. It's not so much about the money, to me, as it is being a hundred percent competitive. And and every single cast is uh, can make or break you in this event with this format that's set up. So uh, I dealt with that this week. I was the guy in yesterday, and I was the, the second guy out today. So. Uh, you know, it was a very interesting week for sure, and uh, that you know, back to the no entry fee. It's it's cool. nice being a able to just go out there and fish, um, but the competitiveness is just as just as much as it was with entry fees. Do, have you noticed that there's that the anglers seem to be in a little bit better mood without the stress of what's gone on with. Like I said, entry, I keep going back to entry fees, but it seems yeah. like everyone's been on, on, in a really good mood this week. I think I think the reason everyone's in a really, really good mood is because it's finally all come full circle. Um, we've heard about it. We've talked about it. We've, we've thr gone through millions of emails and text messages and <laughs> conference calls and rule changes and this and that. And to finally be here and to watch everything take place this week, I think that's why everyone is a firm believer in in Major League Bass Pro Tour for sure. Um, uh, toot, toot your horn to that. My little nine-year-old just tooted the horn, so she did. Uh, she that's what everybody's doing. They're toot, tooting their horn, and Major League needs to give themselves a pat on the back because uh, what they did this week was phenomenal. How I've been asking everybody this: how how tough was the decision to jump over to this Major League fishing? You know, it really wasn't. Um, I fished Major League Fishing this past season, okay. so it's just now going to air, and so I knew the format kind of coming into the Bass Pro Tour, and I've never fished anything like it. You yeah. know, it was, you know, from the first day, it was funny, the first event that already aired, I did terrible. I went out in the first round, but I knew I wanted more of it. You yeah. know, it was just like, it was the excitement that, you know, it brings back everything from when you were playing high school, new sports. Yeah. You know, you know the score, and you know where you are, and yeah. you know, and so... I knew from that very first tournament that that's, that's what I wanted to do, so the decision was easy. Could you ever expect there be so much excitement around the industry over something like this? Um, yeah, I think so. You know, it's, 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 we've been stale for a long time, you know, it's, you know, I hate to say it, but we've had the same core viewers, we've had the same core followers forever. Yeah. And so, you know, it took something like Major League Fishing, you know, a, a, a drastic change from our five fish limits and all those things and, and you know it took score tracker it, it took knowing the score it, it, and, it, and it made it made for tv and, 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 it, and i think it's going to bring a lot of viewers in so so yeah i mean i think there is a lot of excitement because i mean it kind of blew up the model and, yeah I, I mean so far so good right? when when you start thinking about the the first the first stage one here yeah. Do you do you say to yourself, I want to catch a bunch of numbers, or I want to go after big fish? No, it's it's uh, the lake's going to determine. It. So, you know, I don't, I, I don't, I don't buy in any of that because um, the lake determines that. You know, we were in Florida in the cold front. Yeah, we I mean, were. We're going to catch a lot of a lot of fish. Yeah. You know, you 
So the way to win this tournament is to catch a lot of numbers. Yes. You know, had it been a spawn and there's eight pounders on the bed, yeah. it would have been a different tournament. You know, exactly. so the lake is going to determine, you know, these guys are so good. They're going to catch what lives there. And in Florida on a cold front, I mean, it's been 10 or 12 days of the coldest weather. Until in yesterday. Time. So, you know, we just didn't have the weather, weather to have a big fish tournament in Florida. Um, had it been sunny and high skies and the moon, and I mean, it, guys would have been going around bed fishing eight pounds. Yeah. So I, I think the lake's gonna 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 hash that out. Basically. Uh, uh, did you enjoy? Do you enjoy fishing in, here in Florida? Oh, I do. It, it's Where are you from? Let me ask that. Tennessee. Okay. Austin, Tennessee. So yeah, I mean, we love coming to Florida. Um, I'd like to come later because I know once it stabilizes, even after the spawn. Um, it gets really, really good in like March and April. But you know, we always try to tend to come here early because it's where else can we go and it's warm. Yeah. Um, but no, I'd like to come a little later one time because I, you know, I think the fishing gets even better. Um, but no, I love it. It's, it's I gotta love hate. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's Florida's can be really tough and it can be really good. Just like this tournament had a really good first day. And yeah. Not so good day to day. So, you know, it's this tournament kind of is mirrors my relationship with Florida. It's it's good that it's kind of over even though there's still one more day of fishing yeah. but what has happened what you guys have brought here to to you know we i've been doing a fishing show for 13 years and in all honesty i've never seen more excitement in the industry for fans and for people like myself who just love fishing so we appreciate you guys everything you guys are doing i mean it's really crazy the, right. the stuff that's going out here we we appreciate y'all because we this format makes allows us to have fun yeah what do you think about what about Conroe next week? What do you think? How? Oh, it's going to be good. I mean, it's you know, and then you know, someone just told me there might be a cold front coming there too. Uh. So, you know, but if it stays warm there, like there's big fish that live there too. So, you know, like I said, it's you know, I made the cut here, and so you know, you got these little mini cuts. You know, if, yeah. you, if you finish in the top 30 after two events, you make the first major league yes. fishing cup, cup. So, you know. Uh, so I got a little extra incentive at the next one. Yeah, that's great. Brent yeah. Coulter, thank you. What's your website? Where can people find uh, you? Just go on, on Facebook and Instagram. Just go to Brandon Coulter Fishing and uh, check me out. Awesome. Thank you, dude. So you're Gagliardi? Gagliardi, that's right. What you're in, what place are you in right now? Third? I think I made it in seventh, maybe. Seventh? Yeah. Quality. But had a killer start off. Yeah. Um, it was, it's been a good week for me, for sure. Um, a great debut. Um, everything that I'd hoped it would be I mean just the whole thing in general and regardless of my performance it's just been a blast to be a part of and uh, man I'm just excited I'm excited that it's going this well had a like I said it was leading after the first two days yep. today was a lot different for me I, I struggled a lot today I actually thought it was gonna be really easy uh, but it was it was really tough on me out there today and had to just kind of fish and, and grind through it and it never really got onto that schooling bite where I caught multiple fish you know back to back to back and just had to stick with it and at the end of the day made a cool change and probably saved the day for me it saved me making the top 10 yeah I went shallow and caught a couple on a jerk bait that, in a place that i hadn't fished all week so it was definitely a, did you have a hard was it a tough decision to decide to come here and and fish on this no, new format no i mean not really um you know i made sure that i've made a, a like an informed decision but i I didn't want to pass up an opportunity to be a part of something as big as, as this thing is most likely going to be a part of. And so, you know, with that being said, no, I mean, it wasn't difficult. You know, even though I'd been with FLW for 18 or 19 years, yeah. I mean, I'd been there my whole entire career. But just, you could tell um, with the guys that were, you know, that were just vested in this thing and, and people putting their careers, you know, in the hands of, of this organization or this league, yes. it's not an organization. Um, I mean, I just, I wanted to be a part of that. Yeah, it, it's something special that's going on right. right now. And the excitement level that's happening, you, oh, you, no you can't beat it. it. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I mean, it, it's like they've been running tournaments for a long time. I yeah. mean, this was the very first one. And this, you know, they, they should be commended for the amount of time and, and preparation that I'm sure they put in um, to this first one. But it's gone really smoothly. Really smooth. Do you like the format on how this happens? No, how, I like how this? the format. Um, you know, I, I like catching fish. I mean, I like catching lots of fish. Yeah. Um, more so, that, I mean, I'm not a big fish guy. I mean, I, I catch some, you know, big fish every once in a while, but 
over the course of my career, I'm just more of a, a consistent, like, yeah. you know, just a, I catch fish, but I just don't really catch a lot of big fish. And so I think this format suits me well. That, it, actually, this will suit you even better. I mean, I, and yeah, I mean, I, and there's, I think so. I mean, I really do. But at the same time, you, you don't have to fish like that. That's one misconception, I think. Uh, on a lot of bodies of water we go to, you're going to fish it like you normally have. Yeah. If, if we're here in Florida where you can get a lot of bites. We're going to go to places where 10 bites in a day is a, is a good day. No yes. matter how, so you better catch 10 quality fish. And I think that we'll fish some events that will fish really similar. Our strategies will be really similar to what they would have been in the five fish limit tournament. Yeah. Uh, but it, that's what's cool about it is because we go to some places like this, then you can change your strategy and kind of tailor it to you know trying to find numbers of fish is that what was that your strategy just say to yourself yeah. i need to catch just a lot of numbers right yeah i mean i you usually catch a lot of fish down here anyway when we come to florida it's normally thomas um you're catching a lot of fish and you need to catch a big fish in order to do well in a five fish limit tournament but in this thing you just need to catch fish yeah so i just concentrated on you know looking for places that i thought would give me a chance to you know to find a school of fish or find a large you know population of fish that i could really um, that I could really lean on, you know, not worry about the size of. Them. Yeah. Um, yeah. I fished a place in this thing that, if it had been five fish limit tournament, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done, probably wouldn't have done any good. Yeah. Um, well, that's but, what makes it special, though. Yeah, I mean, it does. I mean, it just brings another element of, you know, there's just more strategy. I mean, yeah. There's another element of strategy involved, and um, it, to me, it just it's better. I like the format, but it doesn't matter if you think about it. I mean, if you're playing a, a football game, if a, you know, a team can beat you with field goals. Yeah, you score two touchdowns and they score, you know, seven field goals. I mean, they they win. Yeah. I mean, or basketball. I mean, a three. Just because you hit a three pointer, it's still only three points. The yeah. guy hits two layups, he beats you. I mean, so, I haven't had anybody say that yeah. analogy. That's a really good way to put I mean, it. I, I'll take the layups. I will there. take the layups. Yeah. We don't need to be Steph Curry, little right. boy. <laughs> <laughs> I say that only because he jacks up threes That's as soon as he throw. gets the three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck tomorrow. I mean, this is this to win the first one would oh, be crazy, be awesome. wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be cool. That would definitely be cool. I'm just happy that I made the cut. I know l nothing about Garcia, so it's gonna be you and Randy are gonna be next to each other. Then. Yeah, I, I mean, I, <laughs> I literally don't even know what it looks like. I mean, I, I don't know what to tie on, but it's, it'll be fun regardless. Though. And that, you know if that adds a little bit of excitement because yeah. not a lot of people know it, so it's a, yeah. a whole different fishery that right. you guys are going to go down there, not know right. nothing, not Absolutely. have a lot to do know about, and mm -hmm. and you're going to have to figure it out. That's right. I'm sure you're going to figure it out tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. Congratulations. Thank you, Kevin Van Dam. This is the first stage, not the finish you wanted, but how excited were you, were you this week about this finally happening? Well, it's a really big deal. You know, I mean. Uh, I think all the anglers are really thrilled that you know we have a no entry fee event with the payouts that we have. Um, the major league fishing format is very exciting. You know we didn't know exactly how it all play out. You know the live stream is incredibly awesome. It's you know it's crisp. Um, there's a lot of drama going on each day with the rounds, and we've had great finishes to this point. So the championship round is tomorrow. You know the weather's finally turning around, and, and that's what it is. You know Florida is one of those places that can be real fickle. And it created for a lot of drama, though, throughout the competition. And being able to score all the bass, uh, you know, really changed things up. You've seen a lot of guys make super late runs and, and really come out of nowhere to, to have great events. So it's, it's really everything we expected it to be. And, you know, as a fan of the sport first, um, I loved everything I saw. How tough was the decision? How, I mean, yeah. Bass has been such a big influence in it your is. life. It is. I mean, that's my, what I've known my whole life. But I've also, you know, been fishing Major League Fishing for seven years. So I knew um, what it likes, you know, what it feels like to be in the competition. And to have it on the bigger stage, you know, with the Bass Pro Tour, with 80 guys, um, it just it it just elevates all that. I mean, there's a lot of, there's so many great things about the format, about uh, the concept that, you know, it's just, it's hard to take it all in at this point but you know now you know just to look around and see all these guys all the, the sponsors are happy the the anglers are happy um you know the production team has worked their tail off to get to this point so it's really exciting to see it all you know kind of all come together you know we took a chance yeah on on a dream and you know our idea is to build something um that's never been done before and 
I think we we took a big step in that direction. How how great was it to have Johnny Morris here on day one, and then get on the boat and make the first cast? Yeah. So Johnny is a you know he is definitely an idol of mine. I've known him for over 30 years, and so many people don't understand all the things that he's done. Um, for the outdoors and fishing in general. I mean, what a great conservationist that he is. The things that he um, does and the money that he's put towards so many different uh, causes and, uh, you know, directions to, to make sure that, you know, things are addressed in certain areas, whether it's South Florida or, or you know, habitat restoration in Missouri or Alaska. I mean, just worldwide and his touch and um, you know supporting fishing the way that he does I mean he obviously he supports all the tours but um, this one I think is very close to him you know he was here for uh, to make the first cast that morning and you know he's a big supporter of, of everything we're doing so it was awesome to have him in my boat to be able to do that you know for the inaugural Bass Pro, uh, Bass Pro Tour event here. Yeah th that was really special first time for me meeting him and I was kind of a little in shock a little bit in shock to yeah, be honest he's a, he's a he's a great guy but i mean he's a fisherman first he has a passion for the outdoors and, and he and he loves bass fishing you know i mean he, he grew up that's how he started bass pro shops is um you know he was fishing tournaments and uh saw a need started selling tackle out of his truck and then moved it to his uh his dad's uh liquor store in missouri and and it blew up into bass pro shops so he's a visionary on a lot of fronts and uh i'm glad that he's you know supporting uh, major league fishing here with the bass pro tour and, and and so involved in such a big way so it means a lot have you se ever seen more excitement for something so new in the sport i mean this has been people are can't get enough of this what's going on right now yeah it's it's incredible to watch the you know the the numbers on the live stream i mean once it hits the air at 10 o'clock i mean it's just through the roof yeah and and people watch it all it's compelling you know i i watched for about an hour today and you just i just couldn't turn away i mean there's just always something happening and um, you know, every event we go to, it's going to be another unique story. It's different fisheries, different times of the year, but it's always major league fishing. And, and that format is, is just really exciting to watch. Not a good finish, but I got to imagine you're looking forward to Conroe. Yeah. You know, in this business, um, I've learned over the years, you have to have a real short memory and, um, <laughs> you know, I, I had a tough week. I've just, you know, you, you take chances and you try to do things and it doesn't matter what format I've fished under. I've always done that and uh, it just didn't pan out yesterday. It was one of the, the toughest days I've ever had on the water and you know, next week it's a whole new place, a whole new game and uh, I'll be right back at it. Kevin Van Dam, check out his website, check out everything. He's the man. I've told him a million times he's the greatest of all time. He doesn't take it when I say it, but he is. Thank you, dude. You betcha. Hey guys. Proud to say that Major League Fishing's Bass Pro Tour, stage one here on the Kissimmee Chain of Lakes, has been an unbelievable success. We know the 10 anglers that are coming back, starting with Dustin Connell, who's in first place right now, Jeff Sprague, Takahira Amori, Randy Howell, Alton Jones Jr., Jordan Lee, Anthony Gigliardi, Edwin Evers, Jared Littner, and Michael Neal. Uh, we were unfortunate we couldn't find Edwin, but we have a great hat autographed by, I don't even know how many anglers that we're gonna give away on the Facebook page. So if you're interested, go to facebook.com slash fishing Florida, check it out. At the same time, here it is. All sorts of people. At the same time, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want some free prize packs, just send us an email at info at fishingfloridaradio.com or go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash fishingflorida, and you can win a bunch of prize packs. So, I don't know if he's, he's photobombing me there, I think, but make sure you like, comment, and uh, subscribe. And also click the notification button so you know when we have something new out. But from day five, which was elimination, the elimination round, Thank you for watching Fishing Florida Radio. The, we appreciate everybody and we want to give you prize packs. So I've told you how, all you gotta do is go do it now. But until we see you again, which is probably gonna to be tomorrow for the finals, get your fish on.
he's out.